Welcome, Prime Minister. We are extremely grateful for your visit to Israel because you've come, you've come to visit Israel in our darkest hour, but we will overcome and prevail and it will be our finest hour. I'm basing myself on a quote from Winston Churchill because I'm reminded every day now about what my late father, Chaim Herzog, told me about the, the days of the Blitz in London. He was there as a student in Cambridge and, uh, and uh, volunteered uh, to help the national, the civilian guard under bombardment in London. And then thereafter went to uh, and joined the British Army and fought in World War II in the worst of battles. And he always told me what impressed him most was the incredible spirit of the British people under fire. This is the spirit Prime Minister Sunak that you will see in, here in Israel. The, the way our nation has risen uh, and, uh, following the horrendous attack, following the shock and the trauma, with enormous pain that we are carrying with us on, a, on, on an hourly basis, truly, truly. Another story and another story and another story of shocking stories, shocking. People being burnt and tied up in, in, in barbed wire and, and, and you can only think about a family just before they're totally murdered and, and heads cut off and, and all the things that you've been hearing and listening. And, and therefore, this is a test for, uh, the, the moment calls for who's our friend, who's with us. And you've been with us from first moment. And we are extremely grateful, Prime Minister, for your support and your decisions and, and your leadership in this respect. And, and we welcome you with an open heart because of this moment. We are uh, at the frontier of a certain clash of civilizations. I mean, we are seeing an ISIS on our border entering in our country, and it's an empire of evil, which we know is led from Tehran. It's a coalition of, uh, of evil led from Tehran, which has its forks up in the Lebanon, which has left havoc in Syria, Yemen, and Iraq. This is the, the real in international interest, security interest of all the nations of Europe. And this is um, uh, how we feel and see uh, this moment. And therefore, uh, the fact that you are here is, gives us a certain sense of, uh, of responsibility that, uh, and, and a kind of support for the fact that we are there to uproot the military capabilities of, our, of, of, of this enemy so that we can bring back as, you know, decent, honest, innocent people to live back on the border and live in peace with the Palestinian neighbors. We believe that both nations deserve peace. And we are grateful to you for your efforts on all fronts. We listen and uh, uh, very carefully to your message and President Biden's message and other leaders on the need for a humanitarian relief program for the people of Gaza who are moved out of the war zone in order for us to carry out our inherent right of self-defense. And I thank you for your uh, uh, very strong support for a right of self-defense and your support of the Jewish community, your attendance in the synagogue in Finchley uh, meant so much to the Jewish people and the Jewish world as such, and I'm grateful for that as well. Finally, I want to uh, raise the issue of uh, what I call objective or unobjective reporting about the, the, this uh, tragedy. Because uh, we feel that, uh, and I've made it out public, that the way the BBC characterizes uh, Hamas is, this, is distortion of, of the facts. We are dealing with, a, with one of the worst terror organizations in the world. And, it, uh, and, and I know that in, in modern democracies such as ours and yours, you cannot intervene per se, but because the BBC has a certain linkage and it is known as Britain as such all over the world, there has to be an outcry so that there will be a correction and Hamas will be defined as a terror organization. What else do they need to see? 
to understand that this is an atrocious terror organization. So thank you. Thank you for your support and uh, welcome. Well, President Herzog, thank you for the warm welcome. It is a privilege to be here at this difficult time for you and for your people, but I wanted to be here. And first and foremost, I wanted to express my solidarity with you and your country after you have suffered something unspeakable, a barbaric act of terrorism. And to your last point, we should call it what it is, an act of terrorism perpetrated by an evil terrorist organization, Hamas. That's what I believe, mm -hmm. and that's what we will continue to say. And in that vein, we will stand with Israel. We will stand with you in solidarity with your people and your right to defend yourself, to bring security back to your country, to your people, to ensure the safe return of the hostages that have been taken. And I know we will talk further about mm -hmm. that later on, um, because that's the right thing to do. You have not just a right to do that, I think you have a, a duty to do that, to restore that security to your country. But I'm also grateful to you for the support that the Israeli government has provided to the families of British nationals who have been caught up in this tragedy. Uh, I very much appreciate that, and I know we will continue to cooperate closely and support your efforts to ensure the safe return of all the hostages that Hamas have so cruelly taken. And I'm glad that you and I have had a chance to discuss the need for humanitarian access. Uh, Palestinians are victims of what Hamas has done. And it's important that we continue to provide humanitarian access. I welcome the announcement yesterday. We in the UK have announced further aid that we're prepared to bring into the region. And we're keen to see that that gets to those who need it um, to enable, as you say, when people have been asked to leave to protect civilian life, which is the right thing to do, where we can support them, we want to do that. And I very much welcome the progress that we've made on that, and I know we will continue to make it. So again, thank you for having me here at this important time. The relationship between our two countries has always been strong, <coughs> but I want you to know at this particular moment, you don't just have our friendship, you have our solidarity, and we'll be with you. So I, I want to thank you uh, greatly for the, those warm and comforting world. Um, the, the, our heart is bleeding with the pain of families, but right now we are devoted also to bring back the hostages. There are babies there, there are pregnant women, there are elderly people with dementia with their caretakers, we are, there are foreign nationals, there are just innocent lives who are out there with no knowledge of their whereabouts, and I think the international demand must be extremely forceful so that we bring them back as soon as possible, safe and sound. Thank you very much. Thank you.